if you had the chance to take the time to rewind it all again and experience it back in the beginning, would you have taken it? For me, I didn't want anything to change at all because I wanted to stay as it was. But we all know that things must come to an end. I haven't recorded in a long, long time. Well, technically because I signed up for the spring market to sell off my prints and stickers and stuff like that. So that's been really getting um, hectic and that's my main priority as long as like studying and being prepared for finals. So I didn't have enough time to record anything or do anything of that fun stuff. So I, I'm gonna show you a little bit of my process. This is so hard to see because I did it in such an incredible like light marker, but it's great y'all. I've been doing little packages. My prints are right here. <laughs> to uncover, of course, now that I'm actually finally getting back onto YouTube and stuff like that. March 30th, 10. It's almost 11 o'clock right now. Oh my God. And I have class tomorrow in the morning at nine and I have to get out. And um, yeah, tomorrow I'm gonna be selling out my art prints. I realized beforehand, I will be leaving class early so I can eat and stuff like that because I will be selling for four hours straight, three to seven, and I'm not gonna be able to have dinner or anything. I have to quickly make this as possible for tomorrow. I'm afraid you are much too late. It's actually at 10% right now. So. So for the first day of April, I decided on going to Central Park alone, and I instantly regretted it. Today is April 2nd, and I am going straight on to the labs to work on everything because of my three assignments for finals is going up and gotta get in that work grind and I don't particularly have devices in my dorm to use it so
The weekends is probably the best time to have lab work, especially when you're alone. Okay, here's me doing 3D modeling, and then here's me doing storyboarding my own draft. I should explain what is my storyboarding. Um, for class, it's just a concept about having a last thing on Earth. And for me, I choose a little newspaper boy that's going back home. It's kind of messy right now, but this is me packing up and uh, yeah. Here's a dumb clip of me of finding a degraded apple inside my backpack. April 10th. I thought I should do like a little clip of me talking about what has been going on recently. So sleep about like for five hours. I went to sleep at like four o'clock last night because I was working some artwork and my roommate was like um weak because she slept an entire day because she was sick. So other than that and then I was hanging out the whole time. <laughs> so go to work working on my film and i have three films that i have to prepare for my finals getting really hectic um i think i've been managing well is that like a lot of work to involve when it comes to like doing cleanups and roughs backgrounds and characters fun the dumbest recording um i locked myself out of the dorms because i don't have my keys and my id is still inside it's in a different purse <laughs> So all in all, it's just like a very long process that I am hoping that I can be able to get done with this week and so on and move on forth with uh, next week and before that I leave from New York and going ahead and back home and getting my hot girl summer on because, you know, uh, your girl has been like getting through so much for this semester is to think that I'm going to be a seat sophomore sophomore next year so like pretty excited but i also think to be the same and staying as it is but I did not get informed by my professor that I'm supposed to go into class today or not because it's just a check-in day for all of us and frankly, I regret on not looking at that email and frankly, I wish I didn't so I left early so earlier before I hang out with my friend, I went out to the library to check out some things
The weather was like around 80 degrees in the morning, but in the afternoon it was very rainy. We gradually didn't have time to like switch out or do anything like that. We just went on ahead and continued our day. Yeah, they scatter away, like rats. I don't know if I'd cry at SBA's graduation. But if I don't for sure if I'm gonna graduate at SBA or not. Really? Are you thinking about transferring? No. You know, sometimes like okay, dropping out. Ooh, risque. What would you do if you if you dropped out? To be honest with you, actually, I would move in with my brother. Oh, does he live in the city? No, no. He lives in like Atlanta and then another one is in Arizona. So. There's a lot of options in background. Actually, okay, you don't really fucking need a degree in art. You don't. But like... Good talent. I really like SVA because it's like, it's my dream school and I always wanted to go here since I was a kid. Oh shit, so, really? Yeah. How'd you learn about it? That's so funny because, um... Oh, graduation. Okay. No, I literally just said that. <laughs> okay. A graphic... You know the graphic novel books of, like, Smile? Right now? Yeah. Smile, yeah, she I read... She went to SVA, didn't she? Yeah, she does. And I read her books when I was in fifth grade. I'm like, oh, I love her style and everything. And then when I got into middle school, I know about Rebecca Sugar. And, like, doing Steven Universe and stuff like that. So I thought to myself, like... Oh, these two attended to SV. If they were that successful in that school, I could be like that too. Mm -hmm. So, and then I started looking into art schools and I knew that art is going to be like, I really wanted it to be my career. And I was mm -hmm. very passionate about it. Because like, no shit. School doesn't like teach you like art can be a career or not. Because I always thought to myself, it's like a hobby, but no. I love doing art and I really wanted it to be like a full on job and career mm -hmm. so that's what i love about it did you apply to any other schools i applied to, to ranch the i just whitewashed it <laughs> i applied to um art institute of chicago and ringling made me on the wait list oh so yeah. like but i got accepted into sba it's my second choice was ringling in florida yeah, it's Florida, but like, I don't want to fucking go to school in Florida, sorry. <laughs> no, all my roommates left Florida to come here. Because they're from Miami. Oh. So how about you? What made you decide to go to SBA? What was my last choice? I didn't want to go here. I, I didn't want to live in New York. Because it was so far from home. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yay. Hi, we're currently at the steps, or we're, we're at, at the, the library, the steps of the library, it's like right behind me. Mm -hmm. At Columbia, and we're just sitting here. It's we're just, vibe. we're pretending to be Colombians. Yeah, I'm like, um, I'm a biology major. If you were wondering. Neuro what, what's your major? Maybe neuroscience. Neuroscience? Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel very privileged to go to this school. There's a school over there, too. Never fucking shout it. Oh, the school's over there. It's like right there.
Mark is right here. And here's my card. Follow me. Hanging out with my friends because we all decided on having a Central Park picnic. And it's especially neat for me because I've been working a lot during the weekends. Yeah. It took place on a Friday and usually yeah, it'd be on really Saturday. Yeah. I was like panic like writing my research paper last night and then I was like, it's Saturday, I don't have to finish it tonight. <laughs> so that's the problem for tomorrow. So what's our day off? What's our day schedule? I have um I guess Tuesdays off from school. I have classes Monday and Thursday. I have all day. Friday, oh. Thursday. Wait, Monday and Thursday? That's Monday. it? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Oh. Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah. But I only have one class on Tuesday and Thursday, so. Mm -hmm. I have every day. I was told that Friday is off, but then the teachers changed the schedule because Pete. That's so annoying. His schedule wasn't working. Mm -hmm. And then Pete transferred out of the class. So there was like no point to move it on a Friday. <laughs> My mom said amaze. We're amazed. My mom could not. She's like Gen Z. I didn't do my wordle yet, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> She's gonna spoil that shit for me. I wanna bike this one day. My roommate does it a lot. Oh, really? Yeah. No, I wanted to bike. What I really want to do, I wanna get roller skates. No, me too. But I've been, I have like a skateboard, but I'm like scared. Oh, yeah. Oh, I gave my skates to my ex. told me she's from Brooklyn she told me like you seen a starry night that shit is disappointing <laughs> no because when I like, see the Mona Lisa <laughs> like seeing the Mona Lisa from like pictures of people looking at their live thing that uh -huh. shit's fucking small yeah <laughs> it's not worth it I had a, my best friend went to Paris um in like 2019 she was like it was not worth it what is it like to be in Betty wait wait <laughs> good yeah it's a good from McDonald's no cap. I don't know how the fuck my roommate's gonna find us. Wait, what do you mean? <laughs> I have no idea how she's gonna oh, get no. here. No, send a, like, a you moment. can text her, like, a and picture. Oh, I'll say we're behind the mat. Yeah, or yeah, no, no. Tell her we're behind the mat. Oh. Tell her we're behind the mat. She said she'll get me water if there's any in the like, coming here. Ah, uh, shh. Because I think if she comes in along, like, the road, yeah, like the way we went in. She'll probably go that way. What was? I think she took the six. I don't really think she will be fine. Yeah, like New York is a fucking grid, dude. Yeah. Like we're chilling. <laughs> I can't believe we just get lost in this shit. Yeah. You just like you just ask what the crossroads are and you'll be fine. But then like you get fucked up when someone's like, it's like 14th and Avenue A. I'm like, oh, fuck. Actually, no. The directions in New York City is like a lot more easier than towns in New York City. Stuff. Like I would not know anything in my hometown. I'm sorry. I know how to get to like three places in my hometown. Where's your hometown? Ace Hardware, my Ace? house, no, and the store. And the high school. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Like my two friends' houses too. Where's your hometown? Uh, Baymer Island. It's near Seattle, so Washington like State, West Coast. You exude Seattle though. By really? Yeah. Do you? It's a 30-minute ferry ride from Seattle. Uh, multiple. I'm from Minnesota. I'm oh. here from America, of course. I'm from. Yes. Just me go back to Korea? Oh. <laughs> I thought you were gonna play some gel. You like. <laughs> what? No. Oh, that shit. I'll just come back if I sit down, so. Yes. No, but if I see like a worm or like a bug, it's not the first time I've seen one in a while. Because the dorm. But then I heard like. No. Because I've been hearing like. When they say touch grass. <laughs> <laughs> He's just watching his hand.